morning, guys. We're so excited you joined us this Saturday morning. So, what happened on Saturday? If we read Matthew 27, 66, it says, So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. So at the request of Jewish leadership, Pilate grants a guard and sets a seal on the tomb of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 27, Matthew made sure to emphasize the fact that the tomb was sealed in order to show that there was no possible way for the disciples to seal the body. The Jewish leaders and the guard were instructed to make the tomb as secure as you know how. And they did so by placing a seal on the stone that was rolled in the front of the tomb and also by placing a guard there. Matthew made it clear in his gospel that the religious leaders had sealed the tomb specifically for the purpose of preventing anyone from stealing the body and faking a resurrection. But where was Jesus on Saturday? Ephesians 4, 8 through 13 talks about how Jesus also descended to the lower earthly regions. When Jesus died, he took all sins with him and he went to hell to fight and conquer hell. His body was put to death, but he was alive in the spirit. If we read 1 Peter 3, 18 through 20, the Bible says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, which is when he died on the cross, the righteous for the unrighteous to bring to you God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made a proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. So he literally went to hell, but conquered, and then took the key to hell. So you can read all that in Revelations 1.18. But what does this have to do with us? Jesus literally took all of our sins with him. It didn't matter how many guards or seals. This was going to happen. This was God's plan for Jesus' life and for our lives. We want to encourage you to read through those verses throughout the day and just realize exactly what Jesus did for us. Then join us tomorrow for our 9.30 or 11 a.m. service at Mountain Movers Church for our Easter celebration. We are so excited and we can't wait to see you there. Comment your favorite emoji below if we will see you this Sunday.